Hi guys, welcome to Lambing Racing's uh, March newsletter. I'll quickly go through the runners, uh, a couple of horses for sale and interview a special guest that's come down to the farm today. March wasn't the best month for us here at Lambing Racing, but that happens in uh, this game. We have to ride the wave, and March wasn't the best wave. Anyway, I'll quickly go through what my, my thoughts were with each runner. First of all, we started with Wales. He went to Flemington and the Roy Higgins. I was happy enough with his run that day. It was a nice, encouraging run, but what went on after that wasn't the best. Uh, the following uh, runner was Petroff. We took him over to Morpherville. It was an even run. I thought he was trapped wide and only got beat five lengths. Then we had Dugan go uh, to Ballarat, which I thought was uh, a great run. Probably should have finished second, but uh, it was a blanket finish in the end, and he ran fourth. Then we headed to uh, Cranbourne. We had Golden Fusachi head out for us uh, the first time in this preparation. Unfortunately, she didn't pull up the best and has had to go on for a long spell. We had Ella step out for us. It was a first starter for new clients, Lois and Thoroughbreds. Her run was encouraging. She got a little bit wrong and uh, found the line nice. We also turned her out. She, uh, she's gone for a well-earned spell. Look forward to getting her back. Ashley Marie was first up for us that night. It was a nice run. She got back and got into a lot of interference. Uh, it was a nice run for her, for, from her fresh. Trancing also made her comeback uh, run in that race. Uh, she got out the back also and just uh, followed them around. I was happy enough with her run. Ultimate Doom race that night over a mile, uh, which didn't suit. It was more of a fitness run with him, so it brought him on because he came out and won next start. Body and Nova race that night. I was very happy with her run. She got back, uh, nothing went right during the run and found the line very nice. She ran fifth. Waving race that night also. We had a big night and no luck. Uh, nothing went right that night for him, um, right from the get-go. And he, uh, he pulled up to stress, so it was an uh, unfortunate night for the connections as well because uh, we all had something on him and it didn't come off. But anyway, the horse is okay and we'll have him back to the races very soon. Following day, we took Meridian Star to Sydney. We took on the big guns and unfortunately uh, the speed was red hot and she uh, pulled up a little bit sore and uh, probably went a bit hard early, but we put, turned her out. And I uh, look forward to getting her back for the spring. Uh, we'll have her back early early in the spring and hopefully we can uh, get her back straight into the winner's circle first up. Then uh, we had Wales compete in the Adelaide Cup. Well, the plan wasn't to go forward. I'm not sure what the jockey was thinking, but anyway, that's what happens with these little monkeys. He uh, decided to lead on him. The horse uh, has never led in his life and the horse didn't run very well. Then we went to Sandown, Sly Romance. 3,000 metre race, Jackie Berryman out the back, D-Dunn takes off at the 1,200, good old Jackie decides to sit there and just smoke in her pot. He won the race, she got outridden, but anyway, we come out next start with him and he won, so uh, we'll talk about that uh, in a little bit. Then we had Oakbank, Dugan went over to Oakbank, Michelle Payne was on board, he didn't handle the track one bit, he uh, struggled to get round the tight and undulating track of Oakbank, but uh, we'll find another race for him. Ashley Marie went to Sandown. She drew barrier one with Dwayne Dunn on board and uh, she doesn't like racing inside horses and when she does that, she just doesn't go at all. Transfix race the same day, uh, over a mile. It was just a run to bring him on. He's looking to uh, go over the obstacles, look forward to getting him down to Warnable. He's, uh, he's going the right way to being a, being a nice jumper. We had Body and Over go to Packenham, 1400 metre maiden. It was an encouraging run. She got to the line nice. She's looking for further. Then. Back at Cranbourne, we had Ultimate Doom salute the judge first. Another terrific ride by Darren Gauchy. He absolutely gets on great with this horse, so it was a good good to get him back in the winner's circle. The same night we had Chancing. She bounced back and just got beat the last stride. She straightened up three in front and just got run down. She's uh, knocking on the door for a win. The following day we went to Mornington. Michael D. Sly Romance 3400. He summed it up a treat. He got going at the half mile. And turn it for home, he just put paid to them. It was a very encouraging uh, win heading into uh, the 4,000 metre race uh, this Saturday at Caulfield. Looks ideal for him and the distances will be right up his alley. We took Wales the same day to Sydney for the Chairmans. He didn't race uh, very well at all. He, he was very disheartened, he didn't want to be there. We've turned him out, uh, we're going to give him a good spell and uh, bring him back and hopefully uh, we can get him back in the winner's circle. He's a six year old stallion and quite a hard horse to get on the ball so we'll uh, we haven't written him off yet, we'll get him back next prep and uh, hopefully we can uh, get him back to the winner's circle very soon. We went to Geelong with Transfixed. Uh, he ran third over 1700 with Craig New at the saddle. I was very, very happy with his run. He's looking for further. Uh, he'll step to the 2400 in the next week. Look, uh, look out for him uh, hitting the line. 
Uncle Keithy last Friday night, very, very uh, good win. Uh, didn't expect the way he won to do what he did, I should say. Uh, got back, blow it open. Race caller pretty much uh, used the old Kingston Town can't win call on him. He said it'd need a miracle for, from here, but uh, the miracle happened and he got out and he, and he just put pay to him. So great to win for that, with that horse because it's a year between runs and it was his first start for the stable. So it meant a lot to uh, everyone involved. Uh, Ashley Marie, she raced yesterday at Geelong. Nothing really went right from the get-go. Ollie gave a good report, got back and found the line. She's looking for further. She's definitely one to follow. So we've got a special guest this, this uh, month, guys. I'd like to invite Campbell Brown to come and uh, say hi and uh, welcome to the stage, Campbell. Great to be involved. Normally it's the other way around. You're interviewing me at the races and uh, trying to get a bit of a tip and taking a taking a gag or two, so it's my turn to uh, take the piss. But anyway, we've uh, Channel Line Warwick Colts just arrived from New Zealand. Brownie's involved, 10% left. A couple of questions, Brownie. So you've won a uh, premiership and uh, also group ones with Sweet Idea. Can you compare them or is there a difference? Oh, they're both great. Um, I'd go with the premiership. Look at the camera, I'd go with the premiership only just, but uh, that win of Sweet Idea last year uh, on Golden Slipper Day in the Galaxy was, was pretty special. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So. When your horse is about to hit the front at the 100, have you got a special cheer or a chant or what do you do? Do you just sit there? I, I think I just start jumping saying, hit the line, hit the line. <laughs> that's yeah, okay. My, Fair that's enough. my little catch cry, mate. And then uh, then the party afterwards is always quite big. Well, you're known for the party. So you're known for the party. Your nickname's Brown Dog. I think it should be Mad Dog Brownie, though. You know, there's a few stories you're getting about. But anyway. Couple, they're all, none of them are true, though. Uh, of course not. No, don't believe anything you hear, especially in this game. So just tell us a little bit about how you got involved with the horses. Uh, well, the old man's always owned plenty of horses, so I sort of grew up um, having a bet and watching some horses run. He's, he had a few good ones in his time. He, he passed up on a couple of good ones. He passed up on Mama Five, which Ooh. was not ideal, and Sweet Idea. So the old man's not a great judge. But um, And then, yeah, going to Hawthorne, Shane Crawford obviously was uh, was heavily involved in the, in the horse racing. So I um, brought a couple in with, with him and just sort of gone from there. And, Absolutely love it. Uh, very good. So, first uh, look at Channel Line Warrior Cup today. What are your thoughts? Yeah, he looked good, didn't he? Had, yeah. had a pretty good action, and uh, he's uh, he's still a colt. So, uh, yeah, we just need to get his manners in order. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how he's coming along. First time I've been down to the property, Rich. It's absolutely magnificent. So, uh, good job. No worries. Thanks, Bernie. And uh, hopefully, anyone that's interested, there's still 10 percent left. And uh, welcome aboard and thanks very much for coming down. Thanks for having me. Plenty of winners coming up with the Richie. <laughs> He'll be ready. All right, guys, just quickly, I need to cap off. One more horse to talk about. Uh, we've got the, the great uh, Papa Jim Cassidy involved in the stable. Uh, he's involved with the Celebration filly that we bought in New Zealand. Uh, she's due to arrive in the next six to eight weeks. Pump is involved, so there's shares available with Group 1. Anyone wants to uh, get involved with uh, Jimmy Cassidy, the pumper. Ring a ding ding, pumps the king. Uh, give Shawnee a ring, and uh, be gladly, uh, gladly uh, happy to help you there with that filly. She's more of an oats sort of filly. She's not a horse that's going to get up and run. She'll need a little bit of time. Hence why we're going to leave her in New Zealand for uh, another six to eight weeks. Uh, get that beautiful green grass into her. All right, guys. Thanks very much, and uh, chat to you next month.